What's going on guys, I'm Maze, bringing you the latest Pokemon anime news and updates. So recently we got a brand new summary and preview for episode 85 of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime, Leap and Climb, Stack Attacker, airing specifically on August 9th. With that said, let's firstly take a look at the summary. The summary states, quote, the Ultra Beast Stack Attacker has appeared at the Pokemon School. The Ultra Guardians immediately dispatch, but they're unable to hit it with their Ultra Balls, aka Beast Balls. Since it's neither moving nor doing anything wrong, they decide to come back for it at a later time. But the next day, Stataka ends up going from the Pokemon School towards the city. Ash and the others hurry to the scene, but Stack Attacker has become angry and started a rampage. Will they be able to Ultra get it? End quote. Looks like a pretty interesting story. And moving on to the preview, the preview shows us exactly what the summary stated, along with confirmation that Borgen appears once again, and even a scene where the classmates partake in gymnastic events. That's pretty much it. If I was to say how I believe the story will go though, I think it would start off with the gymnastic events, then this Ultra Beast appears, and the classmates fail to capture it, and then it moves towards the city like the summary stated, but it ends up going in a construction area that Borgen owns, and ends up wrecking the statue he seemed to adore so much. As we do see a shot of it on the floor within the background, and then of course towards the end of this episode, the Ultra Guardians will finally be able to find a way to capture this Ultra Beast, and send it back home. It's that simple of a story. So there was no need for a full preview breakdown, if you're a regular viewer who knows that I sometimes make videos dedicated to that. As for the question of whether this episode will be good or not, I'll leave that to you guys in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'm not too sure about my thoughts at this moment in time though. But with that said though, that basically concludes this news video. So, if you were informed of the latest news and enjoyed this little thought section I guess, then be sure to leave a like and a subscribe for future Pokemon content. It helps out a ton. You'll also become a member of... The Entity Squad. And today's subscriber shoutout goes to Quinn. Thanks for always being there man. If you want a shoutout, be sure to use the hashtag Entity Squad. But, for now, that concludes this video. So, this is Entity Maze, signing out. Thank you for watching.